If you like my first version of this base, you'll love this one. I've managed to make this base even simpler to build, with no stupid build outs for the bunker. I've been experimenting with a stair bunker and this is what I've come up with. This base includes an oil refinery, two turrets to protect you from raids, every deployable that a solo can need, including a fridge. The court is jam packed with storage and the upkeep is super cheap. So let me show you around. Coming up to the front, we have a turret guarded by two garage doors. Coming through the front door, which also acts as an airlock, we have a nice computer table, and below this rug, we have an oil refinery. Coming through the armored door, we have a vending machine, battery, and mixing table. We also have loads of dropbox storage, repair bench, and a fridge. Now this here is our bunker, which you cannot get squeezed through. We also have our access to our uh, roof with another turret up, up above. Dropping down into the core, we've got a locker and a furnace for our jump up and we are jam packed full of storage. Now you can't actually break this so don't worry about that. We've got a tier 3 workbench, we've got our switches and all of our electrics for our electric furnaces in here and our tool cupboard cost here. Very, very cheap build. Now just to show you how the bunker works. We're going to place a triangle floor here, out of twig. And then you can place this here. Upgrade that, and uh, you can't get through. Easy as that. In my next video, I'm giving away this entire item store in Rust. All you need to do to win it is leave a like on this video, leave a comment in the comment section and make sure you hit that sub button and I'll choose the winner in the next video. This is all possible thanks to today's sponsor. Are you severely lacking rust skins? If you are, use my code LEFTYP with two Ys. You can get yourself a free 50 coins on rustmagic.com. Rust Magic has some really cool game modes from case battles where you can triple your money, upgrade with two spinners, a roulette wheel with 14 times slot, and a unique game called Flipper with some really cool presets. They're also giving away $30,000 for New Year's. The top 50 users with the highest wager will receive huge prizes. You can deposit with skins, credit card, PayPal, and even crypto. And when you're done, they have a huge selection of skins to withdraw from. Or if you don't want skins, you can also cash out crypto instantly with 0% fees. You can use my code LEFTYP for a free 50 coins to try out the site. Make sure you gamble responsibly. We're going to start off this build with one square and one triangle foundation. Cover that in with walls and place a wall frame on the front. Slap your door down on the front and we can place two half walls here out of twig. Spin this wall around so you can get the tool cupboard as close to the wall as possible. Make sure you re-spin it. Now go ahead and make sure you delete this and make sure you can place another one. You can upgrade the top one but you can leave the bottom one free. Now work out of this base until you're ready to expand and we can start the expansion with one triangle, one square and another triangle. Completely wall that in and place your roofs on the top. Now you can use the furnace to jump up for now and we can start on the second level. But before the second level, we're going to sort out the honeycomb. So on the left hand side here, we're going to place two half walls and create ourselves a nice shelf inside. That's in the tool cupboard room. Now on this one here, you want to do the same and create yourself a half wall. But don't place the wall inside because uh, we want to place all of our bags and stuff first. So just keep that triangle inside there. Just like so. <clears throat> now on the left of the furnace jump up, we're going to do the same again and create ourselves a wall halfway up. Keep this one in here as well. This will be for our bunker. As you'll see here. If I don't get pushed away by the doors, we can now press the bunker. Just like so. Now 
is just that. From here, we can go ahead and completely wall in the top of the base, leaving a doorway here and leaving a gap on the front. Now you can fill this in with just a normal door for now, but it will be a vending machine later. Go ahead and create your jump up. And place a wall behind you. Place a half wall up like so for a jump up. From here, we can carry on with the rest of the honeycomb at the base. At the front of the base, we're going to place one square and one triangle foundation and two more triangle foundations. Go ahead and delete the middle square and you can place walls all around it. Go ahead and place two triangle roofs and we can create a temporary triangle here. Place a door either side and a window. Coming up to the top of the base, we can cover it in with low walls. Obviously you can leave this part out if you want to expand higher. But I think the base looks cool like this. Go ahead and place two wall frames and a roof here. This will be for your turret later. And you can fill in the rest of the base with uh, wall frames. Now from here, I've gone ahead and sped all of this up. This is how you want to upgrade the inside of your base. Obviously, it's completely up to you how you upgrade, but this is how I found that it's the most strong. From here, we're going to move on to the deployables of the base. Now, I'm not going to talk through the whole of the deployables. It's pretty self-explanatory. So, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you stick around to the end to see who won the giveaway. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.
we're going to pick a winner from all comments for the last video's skin winner and it is this guy here make sure if you see this you message me on discord and i'll see you in the next one peace